This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. It's some shit starting already. Yeah, mm. today is, today's mm-hmm. going to be interesting. We got, a, we got a guest that's just chilling the whole damn show. But the did whole you damn vote? Show. Hold, on, hold on. Before we, did you vote? I mean, of course. Of course I voted. I voted in early, I did early, uh, my early vote last week because I didn't want to deal with today. I wasn't oh, even with the see. shits. I wasn't with the shits. No. You got it out the way. Okay. Yeah. One of those. And you obviously have a sticker on. Yeah. So we got you. That wasn't that bad. Well, I got in. I actually got in first thing this morning. I knew everybody that hadn't, because they were already talking about how the early voting, you know, Someone else I know uh, stood in line early voting. Stood in line for two hours already. Yeah, you know what I mean. People were talking about it on social media. Yeah, I got up early and and got up. We got to introduce our guest because the guest is talking. We so we have in this in the studio today Ray Daniel, CEO of Radar Entertainment, music executive manager, entrepreneurial entrepreneur, all that stuff. Most importantly, uh, one of the biggest shit talkers I know. (laughs) Welcome, Ray. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Can I pull the mic closer? You can do whatever please, you want to. Please, please yeah, pull it close. I've never, I've never done a a, a a true podcast. This is actually very exciting for me. Okay. Well, we, we, we not only are you doing a podcast, but we're talking about all things. If this is on Facebook Live, let me know, too. I would we're going to go my, next. We're going to do my, that. My, my, I have a lot of people that I have friends with that want to hear what I got to say. <laughs> I have a lot of shit to get off my chest, man. I don't really have a lot of people to talk to. This is my best friend, died. Only person I can talk to is Crystal, and she'd be busy as fuck. So I got to get it in when I can. Well, it's today. So, 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 Ke- so, did you vote? Yeah, I voted a couple of days ago. Okay, okay. How was that? How was it? How was the experience for you? I was excited. I was. I have a daughter who I'm like absolutely enamored by, and it felt good to be able to vote for a black woman. Right. I can't tell my daughter she could be anything if I don't, can't lead by example and go out there and actually vote for a woman when she's a black woman. So, did, is that is that why you voted for her because of? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I don't really know need, nothing about neither one. I mean, like, in our community, it's, it's simple. It's like you a Democrat or you are the devil, you know? And I've always voted Democrat, even though, you know... I, but you have a gun I, on the table. I do have a gun on the table because my pants are too tight and I don't have nowhere to put it. But I'm saying, so you obviously believe in guns. Like, no, I just started believing in guns. Okay. But I do, I, I, I do have, I, have a, I, I like to say I have a Republican brain and a Democratic heart. Uh, that's very. That's that's good. I like that. That's powerful. I thought I'm very, very. I want very to write a book called Democratic Brain, Republican Heart. I mean, you should. The, the other way, right? Brain, the other way, Democratic Heart. Yeah. If it was the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Conservatives are are just more sensible. I mean, I, I I don't think I could be either one of them. But conservative, they're more sensible. It's not. I think that it, him saying the Democratic Heart is exactly what's wrong with liberals. Is it, it's about how yeah, they li- feel. Li- li- Everything you, is feel. Liberals are pussies. Yeah, she said that. No, liberals she are pussies. Yeah. Like, let me tell you my problem with liberals. <laughs> no, this is real talk. The thing I like about Republicans is that they are unapologetically a Republican. Right. It's not even. Let's not talk about it. This is what I am. Mm-hmm. Liberals want to convince you to think like them. Which means they're always using a voice of reason, always using like, why wouldn't you? And don't get me wrong, I have a lot of liberal beliefs. Like, you know, I believe that gay people should be able to have the right, to, the same rights. You know, I believe that, uh, you know, I believe in abortion. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a lot of things. I think that a woman should have a right to choose. Right. But at the same time, I think that the way you have a right to choose, I have a right to choose. Right. And I just might not choose what you want to choose. Right. right. But Republicans, the reason why I think that they're so gangster is because they're like, this is our beliefs and we want you guys to live under those beliefs. Which to me is gangster as fuck. It's like... We don't believe in abortion, so no abortion. Like you have, we believe that God and Christ are the kings, and it's like that's it. It's no way around. Liberals, on the other hand, are like, look, man, this is how I feel. We should be, man. You know, let each to each his own. And the Republicans, are like, man, fuck each his own. <laughs> right. These are the rules we are gonna live by, and that's the end of it. Which is how all of us grew up, right? Period. Didn't all of us grow up that way? Wait, yeah. what do you mean? What? The, how? The, the high, my way or the highway? Isn't that kind of how all of Bruh, us grew up? I think that is the key. I think that we are all programmed to be robots. And I believe that the only free people are the people who have figured that part out and decide I'm not going to be a robot anymore. 
But you know what? We did grow up under a my way or the highway system. However, that get us? everybody's, <laughs> the way that we had to go, everybody wasn't raised the same. No, nah, but I, for a long you had time, black people, black people, were, most black people were raised in a, a Christian household. Mm -hmm. They had to go to church. They, they, we, you know, definitely, I mean, religion was pushed, abortion, maybe guns. Like it just, it's funny because a lot of people, their beliefs are more Republican than they realize. But it, the only divide is money. Which I guess is why you know. The, the, well, that you is, have to that be hard because like, to be a conservative, issue. you have to have something. No, no, no. That's 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 another thing. See, let me tell you what. I, let me tell you my logic. This there, is no, what, there are no poor Republicans. That's you not what? true. They, they're more poor Republicans than they are rich. How did you think? Hold on, let me, got hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you okay, something. Tell I, I gotta tell you something. Mm -hmm. I, I learned this, man. Because in my mind, it was like I've always been taught the Democrats are for the poor, right? Republicans for the rich. I mean, obviously, only ninety-seven percent. I mean. You either in the three percent, no, that one percent is like filthy, but that three percent is like big, huge, big. You know, make they make a majority of the money, million or plus, right? Right, yeah, right. exactly. Well, not not even that. that okay. That's that's the one percent. I'm okay. talking about the million or plus. Right, okay, right, right, like right, right. those people. Like I've been in that bracket where right. it's like the upper class. You know. Kind of rich, you know. Upper class is like what fifty thousand to a hundred thousand, you know. But when you get over half a million, you like considered a part of the wealth, right? Okay. You know what I mean. So right. my point is, uh, so my thing is, is that if there are way more poor people than there are rich people, then how does a Republican win? That's yeah, exactly. The reason why they win is because that is what we have been taught as black people. They have other values. Like these people are poor people who are like, I'm poor and I'm okay with that. I don't want you to give me your money. If I don't want it some money, I'll go get I it myself. It myself. Mm -hmm. Right. But I like living in my trailer or living below the poverty well, I'm, line. I'm this living with good. honor. I have my honor. Yes. I don't want to hand yes. out. I don't believe in. I'm if I go to work, to you can go to work. American. And anybody who doesn't go to work should not eat. If you don't work, you don't eat. And it's funny because... The only people that are not cool with that are people that aren't working. Once you go to work, you kind of want other people to have to go to work as well. But there is still, I, I still feel like there's more poor people than there are. Um, well, you don't have to feel that. That's a fact. <laughs> that's, well, well, <laughs> and, but no, so. I'll say that because, and the reason I'm saying that is because even right now, there are efforts being made by wealthier people to make sure that poor people have a tough, tr tougher time at voting. Nah, that's... That is BS, man. It's really? not, it's, no, it's, no, 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 they're no, talking no, about no, no. seven hundred. They're talking about seven hundred no. voting machines in Fulton County. Let me right ask you a question: Who's they? <laughs> who's they? No, that, that's what I just got from the news. But that's what I'm trying to say. See, that was what I'm say. It's a free thinker. We are free thinkers. How much shit do you hear? Do you believe? We are free thinkers. Like at the end of the day, I hear what you're trying to say, and I understand it. But who are they? Guess what they're also saying on the other side? They're also right. saying they want to take all the jobs and guns. <laughs> who the hell is that day? They want to. <laughs> I'm a th I vote Republic. I might vote Democrat, but I got a gun on me. So who's right. the day? It is the narrative. So you're, mm -hmm. say, you're saying you're saying that there's no no voter suppression. That's just a make believe thing. Man, come on, man. You said hell no, nah, man. There you go. No, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah, ain't no voter suppression, man. You want to be registered to vote? Go register the goddamn vote. And that's it. Have you ever seen somebody who was registered to vote can't vote? No, it's always a poor black woman or old person who doesn't know any better who's like, oh, I was turned around and I want, and it's like, bruh, listen, man, you can, listen, man, I can, I think I'm a great guy. I think I'm a great guy. I honestly think I'm a great human being. But there are some people who will get in the room and tell you I'm a piece of shit. Most people will tell you I'm a great guy. But the people tell you I'm a piece of shit. Now, guess what? You be in the media, you get to control right. which one of those guys get interviewed. So you are deciding to the masses if I'm considered a piece of shit or a great guy. That's bullshit. So I don't believe none of that shit. I don't believe it. I don't believe in voter suppression. I can't even believe that someone intelligent as you are can say that. Voter suppression. That is no. That is not a real thing. How is it not a real thing? People every day are like, should I should now, what, I not believe the on, people that are that, coming that, forth that, and saying this that, happened what, to me? What is this stuff on the wall? What we call that? Cotton? RLX. RLX. Like the yeah, sound dampening. Sa what is it called? RLX? RLX. RLX. Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to create a thing called 
RLX discrimination, right? It's RLX discrimination. I mean, that's bottom line what it is. You want to know why? Because black people like RLX and they make RLX and that is our main export and it's this thing called RLX discrimination. And now, guess what? Now everybody uses the word. Let me tell you what you just did. You just did. You just fell for what the rest of what America fell for why Trump won. I'm going to tell you why. Trump is a genius, by the way. He is. I don't like him as my president, but I like him. The reason why I like him is because he... If he is, to me, Trump is hip-hop. I'm going to tell you why. He is everything that hip-hop is, okay? If hip-hop is somebody who is told you're not going to be anything, stay in that corner, and that's as far as you're going to go. And every time they told us stay in the corner, we got bigger and bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger. That's what Trump was. Everybody hated him. The Democrats hated him. The Republicans hated him. His own party turned on him. Three days before the election, his own party, yeah, yeah. and he called them pussies. They pussies. They scared. <laughs> but guess what? One by one. Talk one about by one. It. He's a punk. He's a pussy. And so guess is that what, what you're telling me? Charlie no. Sheen, Tiger no. Blood? That's no. why voter suppression doesn't exist? <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you that because guess what? Tiger Blood? Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Blood for a hot minute was something, but let me tell you why. Because let me tell you what Trump did. Trump is a genius. He would just, he would constantly say, crooked Hillary. Think about it. Crooked Hillary, crooked Hillary, to the point where you heard crooked Hillary as much as you heard Hillary Clinton. <laughs> so now, when you think of cr- uh, Hillary, it's a brand. so it's a people like you right now on the Republican <laughs> side who are like, man, I can't vote for Hillary, man. She's crooked Hillary. <laughs> and then somebody was like, yeah, she is crooked. It caught even, on. It works. I, no, but that's my point. Kinko's, and, Wendy's. What? It's, I get it. Kinko's, Walmart, Wendy's, I get Walmart, it. voter suppression, crooked <laughs> Hillary. It's all the same shit. It's a title we decided to put on it, bro. It's all packaging. Trump sold us a package. He literally sold us a package. And they fell for it. But how do, everybody thought he was going to lose. Shit, he probably thought he was going to He thought he was going to lose. Yeah. He said that. He guess what? He was I don't know, but it get closer on, to the end. I was like, uh, Hold on, let me tell you what else Trump did. Y'all forgot uh, one thing he nah, did. Y'all forgot one thing he did. I don't know. Y'all forgot one thing he did. Hey, man, it's a, it's a saying in the Virgin Islands. Never fuck with the man with the mic in his hand. Never oh, try the right. man with... It's like never fuck with the man with the mic and the keys. Because the man with the keys can leave you. Mm-hmm. And the man with the mic can say whatever the fuck he choose about you. And Trump, he just did some genius shit. He understood how to, it was almost like deflect. Like everything was deflection. It was like, he was the, honest, honestly, you know what Trump was, if I'm being real with y'all, he was the most human president elect ever. He had flaws. He was fucked up. He didn't know how to talk to people. He didn't love his wife like everybody else does. Right? He was the most human mm-hmm. person. Right. And mind you, man, I love Obama. That's the standard of Hold human? I, no, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I love Obama. <laughs> I love Obama. I think Obama is, to me, he's the uh, one of the greatest men to ever live, and he's one of the guys that I want to be in the room with. And I know he'll probably tell me I'm tripping, but because he don't see how I'm looking at it. Trump is a genius. He is fucked up in a lot of ways, but he understood human emotion. So he understood how humans felt, how humans thought. Right. You know what? Let me tell you what everybody says when they talk to black people and African Americans. I'm gonna create jobs in your communities. And I'm gonna th- and you know what Trump said to us? It was the most honest shit a Republican could ever say to a black person. Black people, what do you got to lose? <laughs> See how we all remember it? Do you Hell remember yeah. anything that do you remember anything that George Bush said? Do you remember anything that Al Gore said? Think about that for a second. It was almost like a meme. He was creating memes, he was creating sound bites that made his sound bites became almost bigger. Then, then the paper, this platform. Then the, then mm-hmm. it, it was like, it's black rea- people, it was reality TV. What do you got to lose? Vote for me. Republicans, <laughs> Democrats are saying, they're going to do something. What's the worst can happen? You come with me. And it's kind of like, well, shit. <laughs> you know what? Well, shit, um, looking at them rallies, I see what the worst could happen. Black folks getting their ass whooped every time they guess show what? up. I didn't see, see that. Happen. See, I want to say this. That's you, what's wrong. You see black people getting beat on, up in Trump rallies? I saw one or two. That's what happened, though. Let me tell you something. He said it didn't let happen. Now it's one or two. Say, let me tell you something. See, this is why. Turn that for me, right? Right. Okay, I'm sorry. This is why white people. This is what white people do that black people don't. We are we are emotional as fuck. Yeah. Right. We are emotional people. And white people are not emotional. So guess what? You just said. You see all those black people? (laughs) Guess what they said? They was just on the other side of the fence. If you a black guy and you in here with us, hey. Nobody's going to hit you. <laughs> when they say that shit, we're going to get all these illegals out. And we're like, that's fucked up. It's like, what are they really saying? They're saying we're going to uphold the law. If a legal is in America, I'm going to drive his ass to the border of my damn son. And it's like, as fucked up as that sound. It don't sound fucked it up to me. But, no, but, but it, that's good. But what I'm saying is to, to, the, to the heart, 
The brain has to understand that that is just business. The heart has to say, well, that is a human being. But does it? Isn't there like when when they do those? We're going to uphold the law. Isn't in your black mind? Uh-oh. Isn't there no. in no. your no. black ear? No. Isn't there a little tingle? Nope. There's something that says Ray. that's a racist uh, dog. Right. So, right. so, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not me. Let me ask you a question, right? You have a pistol on you right now. Yep. Do you have that for protection? Yeah. So if you're at home, from white right? people, hold, or hold on. It doesn't matter who yet. Hold on. It doesn't matter who yet. You're at home, right? You you're at home, right? <laughs> Somebody comes in your house. Are they a human? Do you feel in their heart? No, they're an intruder. I'm gonna kill his ass. Exactly. What's the difference? So if that's not, like me saying it's not. It's somebody, not the, the crazy thing is, like I told you guys, my my Hispanic friend who is Mexican said, "You, Fuck I him. can't go to, I can't go to Mexico and own property. I can't do anything over there." He has no problem with Trump, but you're getting emotional because they're saying we want the illegals out. They don't even want, they let us know up front. That's why Trump uh, doesn't man, like them because we can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. I, I believe that I, people are that people get emotional about those kind of statements because they think that what by they say in, illegals they really mean people of color. Okay, no, I say, hold on, I got to say so. Hold on, see, no, see, see, that's why I see, 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 hey, see, that's why, that's why. It go back to that. It go back to that voter suppression shit. See, it's all the same shit. Now watch this. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. One of my favorite poets of all time. He, I'm going to quote him And I'm going to quote him Just You guys should all know him He said Just cause I Love my niggas I ride for I shed blood For my niggas Let a nigga Holla Where my niggas All you gonna hear Is right here My nigga Now Do you think he made that song With white people in mind? <laughs> no I don't I uh... I don't no, think I mean, so at all. That's, no. Okay, so my point is this. No, okay, guess what? Guess what? My point right. is this. I don't think they were no, the intended no, no, audience. No, 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 no. He he wasn't the intended audience. Yeah. Right. But he was still one of the biggest artists in the world. Why? Because he spoke to his audience. Right. Now the problem that people have with Trump is one of the things that I like about him. Trump ain't trying to talk to you. He trying to talk to his audience. He is literally he is literally like, hey yo, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all a problem. The problem is everybody on two different sides trying to make each other like each other. You know what? I'm going to talk to the innermost fucking ignorant, racist, white man in America. Guess what? I'm going to say so many ignorant, racist shit, he's going to forget that I am the rich guy that he that's really his enemy. Think about that for a second. I'm, I'm your enemy, but I'm going to talk to you about your real enemy because I get over. But guess what? I'm going to get in there and drain the fucking swamp. And they're like, what? Let me tell you something. I love Minister Farrakhan. I love him. Why I love him? He a black man who speaks up for black people. But unfortunately, hold on, <laughs> let's be clear. All uh-huh. his security is black men, right? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure in his phone, 99% of the contacts are black people, right? Tr- I mean, Far- Farrakhan is by, uh, no disrespect, but by terms of real, one of the realest niggas alive, right? right. And Absolutely. he has no problem saying what's wrong with white men. Right. In right. front of they shit, I'll stand in front of the White House to and the, be like, to the, the white kids. man, right. to the kid, he yeah. has no problem. But guess what, though? Guess what, though? We all might agree with some of the shit he says. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if Farrakhan made a America black takeover, <laughs> how many black people will have the balls to wear that to work with a white uh white uh not gonna happen. Oh, how many man? It's a few. You have a few militant motherfuckers like, oh yeah, goddamn right. You know, but they're not gonna be the upper uh, and they're not gonna be the upper man. They don't they don't have a make America black again hat. Yeah, make America black again and, he, and, and it's all about Farrakhan, right? Guess right. what? We all might buy this shit online. <laughs> we might wear it to our kids' games. Right. Man, we might go places with that shit. We might motherfucker. Guess what? If it ain't no cameras on, we all might put the goddamn hat on now. Be like, we be on yes, homecoming. Nigga. Yes, nigga. But when it's time to go to work, don't white folks, we're going to take that hat off, right? Okay, cool. So guess what that is? That is what Trump is to America. He is their Farrakhan. He is their guy that speaks for them. And guess why he can? And guess why Farrakhan can say whatever he want? Because let a nigga touch him. Let a motherfucker try. You're going to have a Ain't thousand niggas Ain't on you. And guess what? Trump got money. So whether I win or not, I'm, you still, you bitch, you still going to stay at my hotel, I bet. Get your hotel room up then, motherfucker. How about that? <laughs> and every time motherfuckers threaten, if Trump win, I'm going to Canada. You, that is making more people want to vote for him. <laughs> Go, motherfucker. We don't want you here. Ain't nobody so, win. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody win. win. So my point, my point <laughs> is this, is that, and only that, my point is this, is that we... We have to just understand, and this is what I say, and this is why I'm probably not popular a lot of the black elite, you know? They don't call me to the barbecues and shit because I always look at the other side. 
You want to know why? Because I was the other side at one point. I was the poor motherfucker that wished they let me in a room. And was like, yo, damn, I ain't that bad, am I? And one day I got in, and I was like, man, fuck y'all. Now you're like, ha, ha, Ray, you're one of us now. Donate some money to Stacey Abrams. Not this time, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, donate, I donated $6,000 to goddamn Keisha uh, last bottom shit. And to be honest with you, I, I sat, I introduced myself to her on a plane. I was like, hey, Keisha, how you doing? I'm Ray. I'm one of your elite fucking donat- <laughs> don- don- donators. And she was like, really? Okay, nice to meet you. I didn't get, what I get from donating that money? A fucking write-off? I'm not, I'm not donating money to nobody. Guess what? <laughs> I would donate money to Chris. I would donate money to Crystal. I'd donate money to you. If you call me and say, hey, Ray, I'm running the campaign. I'm doing a go. Ask anybody that know me when they send me a GoFundMe fucking link. Do I fucking donate? Every time. You know why? Because I know you. We got to just get past the bullshit. At the end of the day, Trump speaks to white America that I knew he was going to win since 2016. Am I right, Crystal? Yeah, he did. I went on record and said, Trump's going to win. You want to know why? Because for the last 10 years, we all have heard this. And 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 two thousand by two thousand thirty, Latinos are gonna be the right. the, the, the the majority, yeah, the majority right? Board. So guess what we all say as black people? Shit, nigga, we ain't never been a minority anyway. Welcome, Latino <laughs> brothers. Right. We don't care. But what the fuck do you think white people were thinking? Oh shit! Right. Oh no, the hell they ain't. How the hell I'm gonna how the hell I'm gonna protect my power? Now here comes this man with orange skin. I'm gonna make America great again, which is cold for. I'm gonna get these fucking Latinos out of here. And you know what? A lot of Latinos voted for him because he won Florida. So guess what? Those Latinos probably don't want other Latinos in this motherfucker. <laughs> No, so, they don't. They they actually no, like as long as the as long as the work and the money goes up. Those Latinos have racist views. No, they, they don't. All, yes, they, they do. do. They a lot do. of a lot of fair, of a do. lot of more more Some fair skinned Latinos. But, they they even even their black Hispanics. They yeah, tend but to but that's shun not, away. That's not what's going on with the vote. What's going on with the vote is. They don't give a fuck because they don't really feel like they're part of this country anyway. But guess How do what? Latinos move? They we don't, don't need the crystal. So move. why the fuck are we out here saying go vote? Because there's money in it for you. You motherfucker yelling to me go vote. You gonna be at the goddamn. It's not even that. Go, that's no, what, you that's be at, what politics you be, that's is. What, I know. But guess what? That's though? what politics what, is. Though? Splitting up the pie. Who get what? Guess what though? I ain't got shit from it, <laughs> and I'm straight. <laughs> so what I figured out? Well, be honest. Did not vote either. He, no, he's he's I, not into voting. Like, really? Nah. Fuck you know what? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I, I'm with you. Yeah, I like, only voted. I swear to God, I voted for my daughter. That I, which is a, which I I don't mind people who just admit. So you waste the your reason vote? why they vote because your, your your daughter your your daughter's not going to walk in the office right now. No, one that's day the no, point. no 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 no. no you saying point. one day I'm gonna tell my daughter you can be anything you want. Right. And I can't tell her she gonna be anything I want if me as a black man will not even vote for someone that looks like her. Right. I voted <laughs> for my daughter. Like when I I really <laughs> believe in Obama. And so I voted for Obama. But this is another problem. I want to say this to the black elites. Because we, look, they probably going to misinvite us to anything. Y'all, you just sit next to me, nigga. You misinvite. I'm telling you now. <laughs> I'm already Yo, listen, invited. Guess what? I know for a fact. We got to lose. I know for a fact they're going to they gonna uninvite me to everything going on. I already know I'm out the fucking club. Because I'm saying what I'm saying. But I want to ask every black person this one question. Why the fuck do you want to vote? What the fuck does Stacey Abrams make you feel to go vote for anyway? I feel, I, you know. No, watch this. No, Let's I, be honest. Hold on. Let, we can be honest. I like Here. being honest. What's, you got a, hold on, you got a Georgia you voter. What. Hold on, you got a Georgia voter on there. I, I we're on the po- right what now. is the name of this podcast? Music Love Life. But what's your name? Be honest. Okay, so I, I'm going to take that fucking time. I'm, that's the rhetoric I'm going to use. Fuck the other one. <laughs> See, right. I just changed the rhetoric. Right. This is a be honest podcast, all right? <laughs> Let's fucking be honest. Who did you vote for? I voted for Stacey Abrams. Let me ask you. You want to know why? Why? It was a vote against. Machine? Against Yes Okay so guess what So guess what It was a vote against Republicans And a lot of people Are voting that way Okay that's so my what, point That's why so my point is this. So my point is this way. My point is this My point is this You know who we gonna get Real people in the White House When we stop doing that Yeah When we say man I'm voting for this person Do y'all know the story of Barack Obama How he became president Do you know what Do you know the story Okay, this is the story. All right, Obama, when he wanted to become president, remember, he did that crazy speech in 2004 at John Kerry Democratic National Convention. That was his coming out party. Right. Remember? Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, Barack Obama, 2008, the powerhouse in the, in, in, in the, the, powerhouse in, the uh, in, in, in politics was the Clintons, right? So everybody knew going into 2008, Hillary Clinton was, was going to right. be the presidential nominee, right? right? That was what was said. So right. Obama went to the black elite, to the top black fucking guys in politics and was like, had a conversation with him and said, I want to vote. I want to run for president in 2008. I think I got a shot. What do you think they all said to him? No. No. 
what do you mean you got shot? You got to wait in line. Right. It's Hillary's turn. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think I could beat her. None of them supported him. So you know how he got support? He went to Just see a guy. Half. No, he went, no <laughs> he went to go see a guy named Clarence Avon. And he sat with him. And Clarence is like the godfather of the music business. If anybody knows Clarence, like Clarence is like a ghost, but everybody loves him, right? And Clarence believed in Obama. Like he really believed him. He said, I think you do have a chance. I'm going to help you. He calls L.A. Reid. L.A. Reid does the first fundraiser of Barack Obama's presidential campaign. That's when Beyonce, Jay-Z, all of them showed up to L.A. Reid house, and it was like big, and Barack was in there. And that's how, he, and then he won. He won the first, what's the first one that they go to? The one that everybody measures? Primary. The first primary, but what's the first one they go to? We give it an I. Uh, 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 not, not, uh, not in uh, uh, Illinois, but it's another one, right? On the, east, on the East Coast. Indiana? No, no, on the East Coast. I tell you, but don't, he won. Don't and, when he won the, and, and when he won the primary, all the black people, all the, the black politicians said, hold up. This motherfucker might be on or something. Now, why the fuck did you think Barack Obama beat Hillary, Hillary Clinton? Why? Why did he beat Hillary Clinton? The same reason because why Donald Trump beat Hillary. Because nobody wanted Hillary, but the fucking elite chose her. It was like, it was made in the room without us having a choice. But Barack was like, fuck y'all, I'm going to go around y'all and do it myself. Now, Donald Trump did the same thing for white people. Now, as much as I don't like the things that he does as president, and I don't think they're presidential, as much as I, I don't feel like that, how the fuck can't you remove your emotions for one second and respect that? You got to. You don't have a choice. I mean, you can't. You got to. Even How? if it's just. Even if it's just the pure. Man, listen, listen. I hated Kobe Bryant when he was playing with the Lakers. I couldn't yeah, stand him. Yeah, 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 I hate Kobe. But wait, guess what? I still can't and stand none of Kobe us could. Bryant. But yeah. didn't he get a motherfucking uh, a, a fucking uh, a tour when he was going out? And you yeah. know why? Because as much as you hated him, you had to respect what he meant to the game. And as much as you hate Donald Trump, you got to respect what he means to I'm fucking I'm still politics. waiting on somebody to tell me what Donald Trump has done to hurt them. Have, has anybody said it yet? No. Only thing, okay, 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 okay let me I say this. Let me say something. something. Let me tell you my issue with Trump is, because I don't want to be all praising him, because I, I, I like winners. I think Floyd Mayweather is not going to ever be Mike Tyson, right? But Mike Tyson got his ass with before. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather doesn't fight like a brawler. Mike Tyson was. So we appreciate Tyson more than Floyd, but Floyd won every fucking match because he never got off his game plan. I respect winners. I, I, mean, I respect winners. I just, that's how I look at the world. If you won, I want to, I appreciate you because it's, we all are, are blacks in here and I love black people. I love my people, but we all are black people who wake up every day and try to figure out how to survive. And that's 95% of us, but it's that other 5% who's trying to figure out how to thrive. I'm one of those people. I, all four of us in this room are those people. That's why we're on a fucking podcast rather than you sitting in the house with your wife watching the poli politics or Crystal settle down or you home. We all, we all people of 5% that want it. Man, it's hard to get up every day and try to fucking win. It's hard to get up every day when people tell you you can't do it. And Trump did it. Fuck it, man. I, don't, I know you don't like him, but goddamn, bro, he fucking did it. He did it. Against all the odds. Against everybody. I mean, it just didn't make sense. It didn't make rational sense. For a reality star <laughs> that was really well, he just said grab him by the pussy. But guess what though? He said grab him by the pussy. And you know what any other politician would have done? Be honest. They would have apologized. Said, Back like away from I wanna I wanna say sorry to right. him. You know what Trump said? <laughs> man, that's fucking locker room talk. And you know what every man said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> yeah. He never, it's like kind of like what the, you know what Trump was. He was kind of like, well, goddamn. Paul Ryan, let me cut them down like this fucking tie anyway. <laughs> Take the goddamn tie off. Like, he was that guy. It was like, goddamn, well, I don't have to play the part. Like, now, anybody feels like they could be president. No, yeah, absolutely. I would like to see Dave Chappelle be the next president. <laughs> I really think Dave Chappelle... Don't forget about the Mike Ray. <laughs> I would love to see Dave Chappelle oh, as yeah. the next president. I love Dave Chappelle. I think... Yeah. I think I will, he, he could win. The Rock would be a good president. Mm. Will, notice, Will we ain't Smith. saying no fucking yeah. politicians. <laughs> yeah. Think about that now. Kanye right. run for president. Have we ever said a... Like, who's the next Democrat to run for president? Do y'all know... But we know about 10 celebrities. <laughs> right. That's what Trump did. Right. He opened up the door for all motherfuckers to run. But it's not like, well, shit, because other than that, the only other movie star was Ronald Reagan. Arnold, Arnold, Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor. Schwarzenegger. It's always about to be a problem now. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the whole, the whole idea of even voting. But do you really want a politician? Reagan? I heard a really bad rumor about Ronald Reagan. I heard that. I heard that. Now, this is white rumor. So He was know, homosexual? Black people, no, no. Black people can confirm black rumor. Oh, shit. I heard a white rumor from a very powerful white person. 
And you know what he said? He said, back in Nancy Reagan's younger days, respect the dead, you can Google this if you want. She was known as Blowjob Nancy. Oh, shit. No, because she gave some good head. She was like, that was what she knew. She was in Hollywood. They knew her as the girl that had to... Be, I'm being honest with you. Right. You don't know her as that. No. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know her as that, but guess what? The people before her did. Mm -hmm. So... It's, I think we got. I think how you look at life is all perspective. You oh, know, yeah. like, yeah. like it's all perspective. So it's like Nancy Reagan was known as that, but we never heard that before. I, like I said, I heard that from a white person. Like, nah, bro, let me tell you about Nancy. Man, she was fucking blowjob Nancy. Google blowjob Nancy. It's Nancy Reagan. Well, hell, that wouldn't be the first time because hell, yeah, you. But well, my point Melania's is this. Got but my new point pictures? is this. Yeah, but my, but no, no. But my point is this: is that Reagan? We don't talk about that. This is what I'm trying to say. This goes back to that the whole voter suppression thing. I don't believe shit because I know that someone is pushing buttons to control the rhetoric. A, a good friend of mine told me this. He, run, he runs a major TV network. You know what he told me? He was, and I'm not going to talk about the network he ran, but he said he, he fucked and changed my whole life. And I think I talked, this is kind of what I was talking to you about. You know what he said? He said, if a black boy, 12-year-old, gets killed by a, a, a police officer, an unarmed black boy gets killed by a police officer, he was like, Ray, if you go on BT.com, how the story's going to read? Another black male, young black male, gunned down by a police officer, right? Think about that, right? MSNBC, these police officers need to be stopped. Think about that, right? BT, Black Lives Matter all day. You go to Fox News, they're going to be like, let's find out what the kid did first before we jump. <laughs> you know what that means? That means they have a perspective. Everybody just choose their perspective on the story. Now, I know how I would feel, but I'm a black boy. I, I still have a... I know how... But I'm supposed to feel like that. Right. But the successful people... Think about how everybody feels. Or, and you know what they say? Okay, those motherfuckers over there, they ain't gonna fuck with me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop my fire over here with these angry white motherfuckers who are tired of fucking swag. I never forget when they were swag surfing in the White House, I was like, oh, white people about to stop that shit. <laughs> they don't mm -hmm. fucking get loud like us, bro. Right. No, they don't. And it, it's, it's, it's too much. All right, I wanna ask you guys a question. Speaking of all this stuff, I saw today that Pamela Anderson, we all remember Pamela Anderson from her. She's, she's speaking out against the Me Too movement. She said it's, it's bullshit. Good. Wait a minute. She said it's bullshit, and basically it's like, it's scary, like women are on some BS. She said, I knew if a, if a, if a Hollywood producer called me to his room and it was after hours not to go. Like, she literally just or said... Or go and just take whatever, whatever you're getting from what you're doing. Right, but well, she didn't say that. But if she was just like, it's, it's common sense. Like, if you, if you go up to someone's room, if yeah. someone touches you, she was like, this is all kind of scary, it's delusional. Everybody's still mad about Tupac and, and uh, Mike Tyson. That, it, the women went to their rooms. I'm not saying I'm not go that they... That. First of all, Mike Tyson, it was in a, it was in a it was I'm in not car. saying they didn't have some force involved, but what I'm saying is, you don't carry your ass in anybody's room at 2 in the morning. It, you just don't do that, man. Man, this is so. Wait, what do y'all think about? Because basically, they're saying that now men and men in Hollywood are like scared. They feel uncomfortable Hell because yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you if you were Hell a guy yeah. right now? If you were a guy right now who was even borderline, man. Man, you know what's so crazy, man. That's hey, man. Can I tell you something? I was having an argument with somebody, and somebody asked me. He said, "If Bill Cosby raped your mom, would you be mad he's in jail?" And I said, "It depends on the circumstances because now rape." Is a bad word. Right. Let me say it. it's always been a bad word. But let me tell you what I mean by that. I didn't mean to say rape is a bad word. Rape is a word that has now a way broader right. way of looking at it, right? So you know somebody told me Char Charlemagne the God actually said this. He said, "Everybody here remember Revenge of the Nerds, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? There was a rape in that movie. You know that? I don't. I don't remember. And no, no. In today's world, and back in the eighties, no. it was dope as fuck. The nerd. But in today's world, that's about. a rape. In, the girl, in, the girl thought she was with her boyfriend. Mm. He led her into the thing. And he took his helmet off. And he, and he, no, he ate a pussy. Oh. Okay. And then he took his helmet off, and then and she he, loved him. Now, right. In today's <laughs> world, that's rape culture. That's rape. They, they've added the culture. But that's my on point. It to, so my to, point yeah. is this: about yeah. well, my point is this: is that what Bill Cosby did in the Me Too movement? What what I think is is that there was a time where that was the culture. There was a time where, like, he was, you wanted to pop pills. Like, I mean, there was a time, We're like... slipping something in a girl's hold drink. On. Irv Gotti said a story about Superhead. He said, you know how she got a name? We caught her stealing from Fred Durst. And we said, you know, you got to get the fuck off set. She was like, no, I want to stay here because I want an opportunity to be in a video. He said, we going to suck everybody dick. He tells this story. <laughs> As he, on YouTube, look at that right now. He'll tell the story. <laughs> right. And guess what? That's rape culture now. 
So in my mind, all I'm saying is this, is that do I agree with a lot of the shit? Yes, I do believe that women are taken advantage of. Right. I do, I do believe that our job as men are to protect them. But I do believe that there was a time in the culture where you saying, I gave her some Spanish fly, I was like, what? Give me some of that. No one said, you gave her some what? I'm calling the goddamn cops on you. You gave her Spanish fly. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, they was like, give me some. It was just the way it goes, bro. We have been as taught, keep asking yes, keep asking yes, and keep asking till you get to yes. That's rape. And a very close friend of mine helped me understand it because she said sometimes women are, underst- are afraid of the man. So I get that. But I, I get that. So it's a double-edged sword because I agree that it's wrong. But I also, listen, man, at one point in time, it was okay to hang a per- At one point in time, it was okay to hang me and you in the street and everybody was celebrating. Does that, make it, that, does that mean it was right? No, but at that time, that was the culture. So it was, you didn't go to jail. You didn't lose your house. So my point is, is that I believe you punishing Bill Cosby in 2018 for something that happened in 1980, 1970, whatever, whenever it happened, I do believe that that is kind of fucked up. Because <laughs> murder has always been wrong. Has always been wrong. Correct. It's right? in the Bible. Exactly. Murder's always been wrong. Thou shalt not kill you, bro. It's always been a wrong thing. Right. You know, but hey, man, it's just some shit out here. It's just, it's fucked up, Crystal. It's, it's, it's the weird thing. I'm though. scared. It's I'm worse really than that scared. Because there still is, there are still women who kind of buy or enjoy that caveman mentality in a, in a man. They like being hit over the head and drugged back to the game. I don't, I don't know if I would say that, but I do, I do. Think, I do think that as a woman, you we just kind of got used to the fact that men were going to make you feel uncomfortable. And I think that's the thing that men don't get. Like, it feels uncomfortable see, to that, go in the room with the energy that some guys have, but we just got used to it. Like, it's just expected. Like, I've worked in the music industry for 12 years, and a lot of male rooms I have to go into with most of the guys, I feel uncomfortable. Right. Not so much now, but when I first started, I felt really uncomfortable. But I learned as a black woman, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. And then also, if somebody asks me something, I've had guys ask me to come to their room, do whatever. I just don't do it. You know what I mean? And I just, I just curve the thing. But some females are not strong enough, or maybe they just want the opportunity. I do think the Me Too movement is, is. It's like it's a lot of pieces to it. Like I, if you go to somebody's room, you should be. Ha- you, what's you wrong go with the opportunity? Room, hold on, hold on. Be- I, I was about to say this. I'm as a woman. I'm a, can I can I can I flip the question? You guys don't mind about as a woman because she's the only one woman in this room. Do you think out of ten women, how many women you think have fucked for a purpose other than I genuinely want to fuck this man? <laughs> out of ten, how many women you think have ever done that in their life? Ten. Nine. I'm no, glad no. you said ten. I'm ten. Glad I'm gonna say be nine. honest. Yeah. Let's say ten. Ten, ten. ten nine and a half. Out, ten out of ten women. <laughs> right. Let's say nine and a half. Nine right. and a half women <laughs> have fucked a man for a purpose other than yeah. I want to enjoy sex with him. Right? <laughs> That's ten. Hold on. Okay. So yeah. my point is this: is that yeah. what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is? I mean, honestly, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like you understand something? As a man, I enjoy sex. I enjoy it. So if I'm having it with you and you're moaning and it's great and you're loving it and you really was only doing that because you know I was an executive music and you said I could help your fucking career, well, bitch, I need to take you to court too because I feel raped. Yeah. I feel, I feel. No. I, no, hold on. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because I only had sex with her because I enjoyed her. And she had sex with me because she wanted something from me. She wanted me. to enjoy she what you were able to bring do to for the her. table. So my point is like this. So guess Two what? Things. Let me ask you a question. Let me tell you something. I had this girl, y'all. I used to like this girl, man, so much. I want to take her ass to court. Matter of fact, we should, I should get her. <laughs> I used to like this girl, bro. And, and, I, and, and, I, and I only like to compare because, of course, there's no comparison between a man and a woman because we're obviously stronger, right? Physically. Right. But... Everybody knows that we're way weaker mentally. Mm. No, men are. Men are. Mm. Crystal. Crystal. Obviously. Uh, cr- Crystal, <laughs> listen. Um, listen, man, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't care for who you are. A man could be wherever he wants. He see a big ass. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's nice. That's just, I don't that's know a, what that is. I no, do. No, that, hold on. That's that, being, that, the, that, that, is, that is genuinely being a man. Right. My, that's, 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 that that's evens a, it out. It evens it most, out, though, because you guys have a physical advantage. The most man will look. No, but no, you can throw a man off. You can throw him yes. off. Women know that. Women, I got a friend that said, Crystal, I don't go to strip clubs because them bitches know the secret. They know how to throw men off. Dog, you know. Dog, you know, the secret is a strip club. Don't look them in their eyes. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm being real with you. When I walk in the strip club, I feel like <laughs> a fucking uh, a, a fucking uh, a boar surrounded by lions. <laughs> like it's like I only came here because a friend invited me. Please don't fuck with me. <laughs> don't sit in my lap and ask me how my day is going because I know you want something from me. Don't act like you like me if you want. I'm too weak for that. Okay? I think you really like me. You sit in my lap. <laughs> Only to find out you want the money. Lie. I want to believe, believe the, the lie. lie. But that's the difference between men and women. But it's also because we're stronger physically, so we know we can't be hurt by them. Right. So I do believe it's our job to protect them. But I do, listen, man, I had this girl I really like, man. I really like this girl. And this is in broke Ray days. This is broke Ray, okay? This is Ray that ain't got a fucking... Uh, this is Ray in 2000. I never forget. It was Christmas time, 2004, and I didn't have any money. And this girl who I really liked, bro, I t- I was hanging out with her, and she was like, "I want that Rockaway jacket." And I remember I was like, "I really like this girl." I borrowed money from a friend of mine. I didn't lie. I said, "Yo, man, I got this girl I really like. Yeah, she needs this jacket. It costs it's like a sad story already, and I, man." I, like- and I, no, I borrowed money from my friend, and her, my female best friend at the time was like, basically was kind of, she was sick. So this was her best friend. So I'm like the guy and she had the girl. And I was like, and she was like, Ray, why the fuck did you buy her a jacket? She told me the other day, I'm gonna find a nigga to buy me a co- that coat. And you was just a sucker. And she fucking him. Nah, nah, nah. And he, she never fucked me. And I'll never forget. I remember I told her, I was like, well, that's her loss. Because one day I'm gonna be rich. Right. And if she really liked me, she could have been the girl I wanted to be with. But she only, she played me. So joke's on you, bitch, you know? Like real talk, but mm-hmm. that's because you know what I'm trying to say. Like it's like it's I just it. it's just men. It's like men fall weak all the time. Every great man has been taken down by a woman. You know what I tell people? You know why gay men are so successful? Because there's no pussy in the room to distract them. <laughs> Let me, ask you, let me ask you a question It's like let's handle our business And then we're all gonna fuck each other guys Yes Get your business handled A woman is like Let me handle my business Lift your shirt up girl You know I'm looking at your titties And she And all she got to do is say is I'm gonna give it to you later Right Just handle your business Oh shit <laughs> But it's like I'm hungry Oh fuck man Fuck this work I'll take you to get something <laughs> Let me ask you a question alright So check this out right um, I'm, I know your story But like if If you were to compare The things that you had to sacrifice mm-hmm. To get where you are Yeah Would you say it'd be easier To be a woman And just fuck for 20 minutes 10 minutes or whatever Or go through what you had to go through To get where you at You see what I'm saying I know that there's That a That's woman may a fair question No it is though It is because Because women get I think it is a fair question Women get to a lot of high places No Hold on for a second Hold on 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 I want to say something I want to say something I think that I think that when she I think, hold on, what's the question? Okay, so my question is, okay. the things that you had to sacrifice to to gain the level of success or comfort that you have now, Yes. compared to what a woman does when she gives uh, Harvey Weinstein a piece of pussy or whatever to get that movie role that launches her career and makes her the success story that she is, do you think that that either, either balances out or no. your, your role was even more difficult? No, than I think hers? her role is difficult. Okay. I feel bad for her because she has to come in a room and be subjected to, like, y'all got to understand something. As a woman, it is so hard to be a woman because you're subjected to being hunted before you can even announce what you're here for. So it's like before you can even announce what you're here for, you're already being plotted on. See, me as a man, my only hard part was mentally understanding that I'm getting closer and closer to my goal even when it felt like I wasn't. But I also, I also, I also was in that scenario. And I was a man. I, I tell people, I'm like, hey man, you want to make it as bad as I did? Would you eat stink pussy? <laughs> and niggas look at me, but I'm like, guess what, nigga? I did. I did. I had to. I had no fucking way to go. My mom told me you can't live with me. I had nowhere to go. I didn't want to do that shit. But I had to fucking do it because I didn't have nowhere to go that night. And the girl said, you can stay with me. And I remember I snuck in the room because I was like, my boy was dropping me off. I never forget this shit. And you know, he dropped me off and he like, you know, kind of like, all right, nigga, you know, get out the car. <laughs> I'm kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> I never forget. And he was like, I said, man, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm sorry, man. I know I'm like taking up your time, man. But I know if I go in here, she going to sit on my face. And I don't want that. <laughs> and he was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, I swear to God, I swear to God, it's a true story. And I snuck in the room and I laid down and she woke her ass up. Use the bathroom first, might I add. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then came right in, that shot on my face until she nutted. And then, you know, it was like, 
Man, Ray, man. And all I remember thinking to myself is, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have to do this for the rest of my life. Right. So, and Ray a, Charles had a, to do a that woman, too. A woman, a woman, and mind you, I like women. I like eating pussy. I just didn't want to eat that one. Right. A woman having to be subject, subjected to sleeping with a man who has power over her, to me, is the, I, I'll, to me, that is just as equal to rape to me. That's just as equal to rape. Okay. Because it's like, why would you subject her? Am I wrong? No, you're, you're right. No, I, I you're think right. I think I think because it's like I, I it's, you know, what it's like it's like it's like a police officer walking in your house and telling you, "Be honest, sit your ass down while I do what I do to your wife." And you like, I want to do something about it. And he like, nobody ever believed you over me. I could kill you right now and say you was coming at me. And you're right. like, uh, it's like that's what it's like. It's like you can't do nothing besides be a victim to this person. So. Cause I, like, the thing about it, you're gonna be a victim either way. Do so, I, but, but, wait, 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 wait. So is that why women it, have have you, weaponized it, being a victim? But if you listen to me, if, yes. you, if you sleep sh- with and the guy, be honest with you, they should. He's gonna he's gonna tell people, and if you don't sleep with him, he hates you. Because men, if you turn a man down yeah. and reject him, you're gonna get black. Like petty. that's that's yeah. But hey, 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 Ray, do I get a million dollars at the end of this, please? Because I mean, if I do, we gotta gotta talk about it, right? It's no. got to be a conversation. But that's a million no. dollars until she goes I, to court. I, 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 I done made a million dollars before, and a million dollars ain't never worth somebody harming a woman that you love or yeah. taking advantage of it because it's your decision to take the money, but it's her body. Like, I'm telling you something, man. Like Maybe I said, we mutually agree. Well, then, bitch, I don't want to be with you anyway. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> give us a million, and let's go our separate ways. Half right. a million each. <laughs> but I mean, like, like, I, like, I'm telling y'all, man, Chris used to always tell me, a girl, my daughter changed me. I just see, I understand women. Like, men have failed women. We have. We have. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some women out here that are pieces of shit. Like the bitch that took my Rockaway jacket. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck her for real, though. That's a fat bitch. Everybody agrees. That's a sad <laughs> story. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Real talk. I, I, we all have that story, man. Yeah. yeah. There's but a Rockaway bitch that, in all of, that's but, been but, around but, all of but us. But what I will tell you is that because I have a friend like Crystal, because I have a friend like Crystal, uh, I because I have a friend like Crystal, I understand that there are some women out here with amazing hearts that... Should be protected by with all cost. So it's like, I mean, it's like give and take. It's like, don't get me wrong, man. I don't fucked a lot of women in my life. I don't had a lot of chicks. I don't had a lot of side chicks. But Crystal noticed about me. If I love, if I cared, I protected you with my life. You know, am I lying? No. Because I feel like even if, as a man, my job is to protect you. But sometimes, like I said before, it depends on the perspective. Like to a to a human, a cat is a cuddly. Fucking pet that we want to hold in our room, but to a mouse, it's a fucking monster. You know, right. it's like the perspective you choose to look at. So that's why I said I have a democratic heart, but I have a Republican brain. So I could understand what Cosby went through, but I'm also like, God damn, they went after him 30 years later. Shit, right. bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, nigga, hey, guess what, man? When I was a kid, I did some fucked up shit. I hope nobody come get me for that. Cause guess what? Like Jay Z said, I've done bad. What he said, I've done bad. I've done bad for good, and I've done worse for less. But like Earth's a test Don't judge me And it was like Cause he was like Don't judge me My heart ain't ugly But the thoughts that I be having uh, Something something But it was like Mom left me Pop left me Mom left me They called me lucky lefty My, I'm set. Like it's this crazy verse He did with Lenny Kravitz But Jay Z to me Is one of the greatest men alive Great man Making plenty of change if you talk to somebody from 1980 Fucking <laughs> 7 That he probably right. sold crack to Or did some fucked up shit to Nigga they might say Nigga, Jay Z's a fuck yeah. nigga. Right. So my point is, is that it goes, <laughs> like, that, that, listen, stab me. that goes back to my, that goes back to my, uh, a blowjob Nancy thing. It's like, <laughs> look, man, everybody got dirt on them. Everybody has done something wrong in their life. We as humans have to give each other the same fucking benefit of the doubt that we want from ourselves. That's all I'm saying. So it's like, hey, look, man, hey, sometimes, hey, you done did some bad shit before for good? Am I tripping? Right. Guess what? That bitch that got my Rockaway jacket, she probably said, yeah, I need a jacket. It's cold outside. I don't get sick. I'm going to find a weak nigga to get it. I just happen to be the weak nigga in her story. That's cool. I could have been way more in her story if, if, if she would allow me, but that was the role I played in her story. I just see the world differently, but I don't think that it's fair to compare anything a woman has to go through with a man to what a man has went through because my job was to be the warrior. Like, I'm telling you, man, Crystal really changed my life with a lot of things because she the first person to introduce me to therapy. And I just had a lot of problems with my sister because I took care of my sister. And it was the first time somebody ever explained to me what I was to my sister, what she was to me. It was like, you guys were getting abused at home. 
physically, not physically and mentally abused, verbally and all that shit. Because you was a boy, you can go outside and fight the world. And she had to stay inside and fight for herself. So you grew as a fighter. You became the warrior for her. But she was a woman. She didn't know how to be a warrior. So it's like, do I take care of my sister? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I am her warrior. So I think, like I said, I've said, I think us as men have failed a lot of women in our lives. Whether that woman is our mother, that woman is our daughter, that woman is our girlfriend. And I believe that that wouldn't ha I believe that what happened to those girls would not have happened if the men in her life didn't fail her. Because when I see a stripper, I do see a fat ass. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I see a nice ass and nice body. But I also be like, where the fuck is her daddy? Right. Because if my daughter strips, knock on wood, that don't happen, that mean I failed her. Because what are women taught to use? Their looks, their bodies. Right. Their, and what are men taught to lose? use? Their muscle. So it's like, how can we compare the two? That's why the God gave us two different species because one is supposed to take care of the other in one kind of way and the other is supposed to take care of the other in another kind of way. We just got to fucking get back to playing our fucking roles. Right. And that's the real truth. So it's, I would never say... I know women that have done that and I actually feel bad for them because they only did that because they thought that was their only choice. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that because right. they was like, fuck it, girl, Crystal, yeah. I'm going to suck this ugly nigga dick. No, they thought. And that is the sad part. And the reason right. why that's the sad part because there was no man to tell her you're more than that. Right. right. There was no man to tell her you could be that. So for me, it's kind of like, it's a double-edged sword, man. Like I said, I know I got some fucked up ways about me, but that's, you know, what the fucked up people yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I play dirty with dirty niggas, you know. But if you clean, I ain't gonna play dirty with you. If you but if you dirty, Crystal, no, I get dirty with your ass, nigga. Let's go. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's unfair, man. Cause you know, I you know, hey man, those girls and every girl that I helped that it was three girls in particular that helped me that whole year and a half that I was broke and homeless. My mom, my own mom told me you can't live here. All three of those girls know to this day. I don't give a fuck where I'm at in life. They call me right now. You know me better than anybody in this world. Would I do something for them? Yeah, absolutely. I don't give a fuck. Because in my mind, it's like, you was a part of my story. I left. I'm off to this now. So I'm going to go over here. But in the meantime, what you need again? Because a man failed you. Straight the fuck up. I wish that I was the man that could have saved you. But shit, I only could save the ones that I saved. <laughs> I damn, they can't save them all, but sometimes look at other niggas like, can you fucking save a couple for me? <laughs> can you save a couple for the good guys? Like, you have kids? I saw a, a little girl and I was yeah. like, okay, you, daughters? I got two boys, two girls. Okay, cool. So you love your kids differently. Right. No, you know? no, no. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. He's He doesn't. He's weird. He, I he don't. doesn't. I treat him he, equal. You know what? I remember, you remember a conversation you and I had that I still, it, it freaked me out. Because you were daughter? like, daughter in the buck. You're like, yeah, one somebody day, will have my daughter somebody's going to have my daughter in the buck. Like, they were little because our daughters are like this. You got to process man. that shit way early. It was like, that's Get it out normal. Your Can I tell you yeah. something? No. Okay, cool. But let yeah, me say something. Do. I take that. I'm going to take that right now. So I think like that too. But you know what I say? Whatever guy has her, that, has her in that position, that's the guy she wanted to. Not right, the guy that's, she that's felt fair. she had but to. But I say right. the same. What I say yeah, though yeah. is, I want to make sure whoever it is is somebody that's enjoyable for her. Remember, I say that, right? Right, right. So of it's course. like it's like whoever whoever she allows to do that is, should be a special situation. Right. Somebody that is is really good for she's her. Comfortable. She's that's safe. my point. But right. how does she understand that? Right. She only. I'm telling you, man. She taught me so much. She only a little girl only knows how to love based on her father. First relationship. Yeah. No, it, how to love. So it's like, man, I couldn't have, man, you understand what I'm telling you. I've never loved a human being in this planet. Like, I love my daughter. And I love my son. Anybody know me? You know me. You've been knowing me for years. You know how I felt about my kid. My kid, we would do photos. I loved him. All day. But what I wanted from him more than anything was his respect. And what I wanted him to want from me more than anything was his respect. Because if he wanted his daddy respect and I wanted mm -hmm. his respect, we'll always honor each other in a right. way that is important. But my daughter, I just want her love. Mm -hmm. So it's a different kind of love. It's like, bro, my daughter got me fucked up. It's the same way with mothers and sons. And exactly. I think that's why that's why it pisses me off so much when people are so come down so hard on single moms. It's like, for my son, I don't know what to do for him but to love him. That's all I, because it's the same thing. It's adverse. And I know how to, my daughter, I want her to have respect. Like, I love when my daughter tells me, my mom ain't doing nothing with those days. Like, she, she's smart. She gets it because I taught her. My son, I just, 
I just love him. You know, she she is exactly like me. It's funny, but but I didn't know what to do with him. So I, I would I would I, I asked you like, well, what do I, what do I do? Like I I can't teach him how to be a man. So when black men, well, it's the everything's wrong with our culture. Single moms, like, how the fuck is it my fault that I'm raising a boy alone and don't know how to do that? Like that is the dumbest rhetoric and that, to and me that, and ever. That's un, and that's unfair to Crystal, but Crystal trying to be that to a man is based on somebody failing her. Somebody failed her. And that nigga can go on with his life, but she has to live with the fact that this man that I chose to do anything and everything with failed me. Think about that for a second. Like, we, us as men don't understand our responsibility in people's lives. And then you say, men, then men turn around and say, hey, I don't want that girl because she's, she's, she's broken. She's, she's bitter. She's been through so much. I don't want a girl like that. What the fuck? Like, yeah, but, but, what the fuck? And, you like, know, and, and, another and then you thing, ask those guys, hey, have you heard of one before? Yeah. But, you know, but I don't want one. I want to go get a young one that ain't been hurt yet. What the fucker? Yeah, I want to get a new like, one. But, yeah. you know, as like I said, like, we have, as men, but we have privilege. And I always tell us a woman, we have privilege. And y'all have privilege. We just got to learn how to respect and use that when it's time and not for evil. And if you use it for evil, then you deserve whatever evil you get. And if you don't, then you don't. Man, I've, I've had women who are broken that I've done my best to love and I just knew the only way she would be fixed is if I loved her the way she wanted me to love her right. but I wasn't built for that I'm like I don't, I don't love like that I love like this right. you, know? you know what let me ask you this so when the the girl with the rockaway jacket do you think that karma got her back did karma teach her a lesson I mean I think I, I can't say it was karma because I, first of all I don't believe in karma me either. I don't. I only believe. I believe karma is of the mind. I believe that if I do something wrong to you right now, and I know in my mind it was wrong, then that will come back and catch me. But if I do something same act, but I don't think it's wrong, I don't think mm -hmm. nothing happens to me. I don't think you get punished for your your, your actions right. if you don't think your actions are wrong. So for me, it's like, I, I mean, it's the, the so for me, so for me, so, so for me, no, so for me, this is how I look at her. She ended up exactly where she was supposed to end up at because she won. Now I won too. My win might have came years later. It might have been way bigger on another person's scale. But to her, that fucking Rockaway jacket was yeah. probably the biggest, most important thing ever. It's kind of like it's kind of like like Tony Robbins says this. It's kind of like the difference between saying, "Okay, I'm gonna eat this fucking fried chicken and all this greasy ass food because it's gonna make me feel good now, but tomorrow I'm gonna feel like shit because I'm gonna see it on my body." Compared to me saying, "I'm not gonna eat this. I'm 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 not gonna eat this, and now I'm mad now, but tomorrow I feel good about myself." It's about you deciding to choose your satisfaction. I think that I've just decided to settle for this later satisfaction than I did immediate satisfaction. She wanted immediate satisfaction. So guess what? And I promise you, she's still chasing immediate satisfaction. It's like she might not have even known. She might not even that know. She, that she could have other satisfaction. Like some people don't even, they're not even, they're, they, they're, they're, their thought they process doesn't small. even yeah. go. Like, no, no, it's not, that, it's, not that, it's not negotiation. They don't They know. don't even understand. Like you have to understand the world you live in. Right. In order to understand, you have to just understand not the world you live in, but where you fit in it. And these people that you're speaking of, like, dog, some girls decide this is what I'm going for. It's a book I read. It's called The 17 Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. It changed my life because it said, if you gave everybody in the world the same amount of money today, Five years from now, the billionaires will still be the billionaires mm -hmm. and the poor people will still be the poor people because it's not about what you have. It's about how you think about it. So she thought to herself, think about it. It's even sad then. She said, I'm going to get a nigga to buy me this jacket. Mm -hmm. That was her way of getting a jacket. Some women that say, I'm going to go work mm -hmm. to get this jacket because I don't want nobody to buy me one. But her thing was, I'm going to find a nigga. Right. Okay, so she probably still looking for a nigga to do certain things for her. But that's her value in the man she sees. So guess what? Some girls have seen you as, all right, this nigga fun for a night. And some girls have seen you as, this nigga could be my husband. It's just how they see the world. Same nigga, just different perspectives. True. So, I mean, I don't know if karma came to God. But I do know one thing, if she's with me, her life will be way better. Not because I have more money or none of that, because I am focused only on a better quality of life at this point in my life. I'm not focusing on money. I'm focusing on making the people around me life life better. So not just that, you made that sacrifice for her at a time when you right. didn't have it. So that means, you know what I'm saying, you held her in high regard. So 
I, I mean, that's, I, really I think that's what her. women don't. Women aren't taught. But you're not. Again, if you don't have a father, you're not. You're not. And your mom is struggling. You're not being taught that if a guy only has twenty dollars and he gives you that whole twenty, that he probably loves you more than a guy that has two hundred and gives you twenty. Like that. Right. Nobody teaches women that. You know, it takes yeah, anybody yeah. time so, to learn that. So, so, so it's kind of fucked up because it's a whole bunch of lost people. Leading other lost people It's almost like I'm finessing you You're finessing me mm-hmm. But we don't even realize That we could be so much more If we just look at each other Through the right perspective right, right, right. So it's kind of like I mean you know Shit Hey man Some girls look at sex As a way to get by And you know A lot of them do I mean a lot of them are taught That's that's what women are usually taught I, I just came from a conversation With a girl That was saying You know I, 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 I slept around But I did what I had to do And I looked I mean she was 100% honest Now I don't I never felt like that, but I could tell for her that's really what she believed. You know what I mean? So you can't. I can't. It might be true too. No, I don't think. No. I don't think it's ever true. But everybody's that's my perspective. not. It would depend on what environment you in. But I don't think it's true. Like I think that there's. So you don't think there are any just like I, even race has people. Women. There are some women that are pieces of shit. There are some people that really have. It's still a choice though. I think. No, no, I not think, necessarily a choice. But I'm saying she may not have any other tangible goods. Can I tell you the fun part? Can I tell you part? This is the sad part about it. She's only a piece of shit to the people she feels like she can get away with that to. Yeah. And the guys that she feel like she don't have to be a piece of shit to, she's bending over, busting it wide open. Meanwhile, he doesn't want what she has. It's yeah. like I'm telling you, we yeah. are all taught to want something that we don't yep. have. And I'm telling you, bro, I'm like really learning and trying to teach myself how to enjoy the moment. Enjoy what I have Enjoy what I have access to Because that's all I have Yeah And that's all you have So I was like bro, I mean man We all fucked up out here man We And we all fu- and, and, and how about this To me this conversation Is way more meaningful Than politics Wait, Because yeah. politics is False wins Right it's, it's you're going for someone Who you've never met Who you don't know For who the most part you. Who <laughs> won't affect you In no way But it feels good For your spirit Yeah But that's how It's almost like sports That's how we look at it We want mm-hmm. our team to win And what I believe Is that you should Want yourself to win But most of the time You don't know What that win looks like To that girl That win was the jacket So you're saying You're not voting For everybody black <laughs> nah. I can't can I tell, stand Can I tell you something Can I tell you something I, I, I vote For the people That don't think like me I voted for Stacey because I do believe that she brings something, something not not monetarily, but she brings something s- spiritual, if that's the right word, to those people. Like I do believe that there are some people that her winning means so much. So I voted mm-hmm. for those people, but I didn't vote for myself because I know I'm on my motherfucking own. Right. And I know that the only person that's going to make sure that Daniel's family name and legacy lives on the right way is me. Right. And that's why I, that's all I carry with me. I don't, like to me, this is all. To me, this is just all entertainment. It's it like, is. and it and and the sad part is that the people who are out here voting, who are out here going and 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 putting on a show for the people, the people in the the, the people that's up here who are putting on a show for the people down here are smart enough to know that, right? Like, I have a. That's my. That to be to be honest with you, that's my problem. My problem is is that I'm a black man. Who came from nothing that made it this far? Now I could be a fuck nigga, or I could be a real nigga. A fuck nigga won't want no one to know how he did it and say fuck you, you can't get here because I like it up here because it makes me powerful than you. A real nigga will share that information, right? Right. So I chose to be a real nigga, right? So when I see this shit right here, I get so frustrated because I wish that I could go on Instagram and really say, man, people fuck voting. You want to be powerful? <laughs> no real talk. You want to be powerful? Don't vote. You want to know why? Why the fuck do you spend $100 million on a campaign for a job to make $800,000, million, $2 million a year? Why? You know why? Because this is all a finesse. Mm-hmm. But they say this is the most important election of our time. Because guess what? If the numbers look high, then it looks like everybody's active. But guess what, man? Who gives a motherfuck <laughs> who wins, man? You think my daughter, my 18-month-old daughter is not going to smile tomorrow if Stacey doesn't win? Mm-mm. No, she's going to smile. But you know why she's going to smile? Because her mommy and her daddy happy. And that's the only thing that matters. And that's how I look at the world. It's like, man, fuck this shit. Fuck but politics. You, I think, I think it, people it, are taught to want something that's not within them. Like, I'll give you guys an example. I, I, I made a post. There was a post on Facebook. And most people, didn't, if they know me, they know I'm a publicist. So this, this, this younger publicist said, hey, guys, have you guys noticed that a lot of um, 
publicists aren't supportive of each other. Like I reached out to this other publicist and I asked her, you know, could I come and work? You know, could I volunteer for her? And she didn't hit me back and she didn't get back to me. And so I just don't understand why we don't support each other. So the, I the said- feeling entitled? It, what, what, yeah, that, the, the, okay. that I posted. So I said to her, and I really was trying to help. Like I've actually- Counseled this. This chick has reached out to me before, and I've told her I always give time to whoever asks me. Always do that. So I said to her, "You know what? When I first moved here, I didn't know any black people here. I didn't. Nobody helped me. I didn't give a fuck. I still just went ahead and did me right. And I would tell you, don't. If a person is not fucking with you, then don't fuck with them. Do you, and you'll be fine. Do good business, and you'll be, do fine. Do you know that people got angry with that response?" And literally made me out to be a villain Like well they're just not friendly And I'm like I didn't tell you That people shouldn't be friendly All I said was that If somebody doesn't like you Or somebody doesn't see value in you Don't listen to them And still do you Like that's the point Like no one can stop you If you believe it But literally There's exchange going back and forth Like I said something wrong Because I didn't say Who gives a fuck with that girl I said if you're doing work People are gonna fuck with you anyway But you know what People It's like sales And this is why a lot of people can't do sales Because of rejection People are so afraid of it. Like if if I'm selling something And I come to you And I come to you And I come to you But rejection is and, fake and, Rejection is fake It's based on what happens right then So 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 right. when I first came here I got rejected But guess what Then I got more clients And more clients And that rejection went away And then I tried to go to the next level And I may get rejected But I know, mm-hmm. eventually As long you as you do hard work you kept going until you found a yes It's not like If you if you ask I, 10 people You might get one yes Yeah but you yeah, can't Yeah but I guarantee But, but her yes well, her, her, her accepting rejection Was only based on the fact That of of stone and nail, I can't afford to not be rejected. Right. I need. I, I'm not going home to those kids unless right. some one of you motherfuckers tell me yes. So I'm gonna stay here until I'm gonna get a yes, and that's why. I mean, you just gotta find a purpose bigger than yourself. That's true. That's just really. That's really the bottom line. You gotta just find find your purpose. Find something bigger than yourself. I mean, that's true. That's right. Listen, I've been rejected a whole time, man. But I knew for a fact if I made money, I could convince my mom to love me. I know that sounds really fucked up, but that's really my story. My mom cared about money. She didn't understand it. So I had to show, I knew about, I knew I was going to make money because I knew when I started making money, I was going to make her love me. Think about that. I didn't, I, she, me and my mom are close as fuck now. How the fuck can I expect her to truly love her kid? She, she, she her, my dad left. My dad's in jail. You know, it's her single mother. She fucking on food stamps, welfare. Like she didn't even, she didn't even know how to love herself from her own mother. How the fuck? So I knew I had to break the chain. I took on that ownership. So guess what? When I was trying to come up, if you try to hurt me, in my mind, I'm looking at it like, nigga, you, I really believe this. You cannot hurt or stop me because mm-hmm. my mission on the world is so much bigger than whatever fucking piece of hate you got for me in your heart. Nigga, you can't stop me because I'm not doing this for me. I never have done it for me. I've always done it for people that I love. I've always done it to change their lives. I'm good wherever I'm at. I mean, I'm good because that's who I am, but I knew that's why I did it, so that's why I went for it. So it's like we, we, man, I'm just tired of people being bitch ass niggas and victims. <laughs> I'm being honest with you, like, I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm so tired of bitch assness. I'm so tired of victims. I'm so tired of people, like, bruh. We are so fucking stupid as human beings, and we can really, and, and this is the sad part about, about it, if we just decided mm-hmm. at this one moment, like, I don't want to be stupid anymore. <laughs> no, I know that sounds very stupid, but I don't want to be stupid anymore. And just said, I need to figure out. From now on, when I say something stupid, if you think I say something stupid, if you think I, you think, just tell me y'all, you think it's stupid. I'm never gonna get mad at you. I'm just gonna ask you, why do you think it's stupid? Because I said it because I didn't think it was stupid. And then you tell me, and I'm like, oh, that's why it's stupid. Okay, cool. Now that I get it, I get it. And my mind is like, we are so, I'm so tired of people being puppets. I'm so tired of people being victims. So tired of people feeling like the world don't love me. The world don't supposed to love you. Nigga, how many people do you fucking love? That is real. That like, is real. like, think about this. How many fucking people do we wake up in the morning and say to ourselves, like, think about it, like, dog, like, like a nigga, a nigga outside selling his CD. Man, I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't gonna listen to. It. I ain't got time for that shit. You don't mean no harm by it. You just don't give a fuck. But he's like, man, come on, man, you buy the CD, man. My family, you eat. It's like, oh fuck. <laughs> All right, man, here. But the reality is, is, you only did that because you saw yourself in him and you want to support 
we don't give a fuck about nothing but ourselves and that's why we ain't nowhere as a race or a people as a fucking whatever the fuck we are because we only care about our agenda think about this it's like he's the enemy she's the good guy okay if she's the good guy he's the enemy to me but to you she's the enemy and he's the good guy what the fuck is going on don't you want the same thing that i want and that's the truth we all do want mm -hmm. the same thing except for the bitch ass victims. <laughs> Cause a victim, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it, the rhetoric. I I, I I I donated money to Keisha's uh thing, right? To her uh campaign. Okay. And I got invited to the class, you know. I got invited to the to the to the inner circle at that. You know, it's like these are this is the committee, Keisha's committee. I'm there. And I'm just listening <laughs> to these people. And you know, I'm like, no, and don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at anything. I'm just kind of listening, like, and I'm not gonna lie, be honest, I'm shocked i'm like oh my god this is how it goes <laughs> these are where the decisions are made ray you made it <laughs> you know real talk and mind you this is recent by the way this ain't like years ago this is like, like a right, few months ago. a few months ago <laughs> right. i'm at the table you know it's a lot of people that ain't gonna say no names and i'm just kind of looking around and i'm like and i ain't gonna lie part of me is wondering i wonder how much kev got to get had to pay to get at the table i wonder how much be honest paid to get here I wanted that Crystal have to pay. Am I the only suck at the table that had to pay? <laughs> Rock wear jacket. You know, like, I'm being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Being honest. Yeah. So, you know, we all talking this shit. So I'm like, all right, Ray, give your opinion. So they saying shit, making decisions, and it's very arrogant. Very, very, very arrogant. What they're saying? The way we saw the world. It okay. was very elitist. And I'm against elitist. I just don't believe in that perspective. So I'll never forget. Now, number one, I got to rewind back a little bit. I was at Keisha's celebration fundraiser to get out of debt. So I was like, she's in debt. She's raised money. Somebody called me, said, bring $1,500 more. I'm like, more money? She won. <laughs> yeah, bring more money. But guess what? This is how it goes. Just bring money. And eventually when you need something, and I'm like, well, what the fuck would I need? I don't think I would need anything. Right. This is just being honest. Because in my mind, I'm like, what the f I don't know what a mayor does. <laughs> what can she do for me? I don't right. fucking know. I live in Fayetteville, bro. What the fuck can I get? <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, I mean, you know, like, I'm being, I don't know. I, I, I never forget. Right. Remember, remember Bobby Brown Whitney uh, movie when they got <laughs> off the plane and Whitney was like, they was about to arrest him. Whitney was like, you better, you ain't gonna take Bobby. I know the mayor. He was like, man, the, man, this is a federal offense. Mayor can't do nothing. And I was thinking to myself, what the fuck is the point of a mayor? <laughs> <laughs> right. Whitney probably donated $100,000 to that motherfucker He couldn't use the one time I need this bitch I can't use him right. Shit But goes back to what I'm saying So I'm at the table And I'm like listening to them And it's very It's a whole bunch of You know it's a lot of arrogant Atlanta at the table And don't get me wrong I'm not mad at it but And I'm not saying they're arrogant Because a lot of these people are my friends But I'm listening to how the decisions are being made It's like this is what we're doing And this is why we're doing it And it's like well, Okay well, well who, who made that decision? Like, why are we doing... I, you know, I'm the nigga at the table like, why? I, I, listen, bro, I got one request to anybody in the world that I work with. If I work with you, I work... I just want to know why. If you about to go... I'm about to go kill 10 motherfuckers across the street <laughs> right <laughs> now, nigga. I'm going to be like, okay, cool. Why? Because why? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes a nigga might... Not, you he know, might need to Can I tell you what why it does, right. though? Let me tell you what why does. Why make you stop and say... Yeah. <laughs> Why do I want to kill those 10 months? Like, you know what I'm trying right, to say? Right. So it goes back. So I'm at the table and we there. And I'm like, all right, Ray, you got to say something. You got to say something. Come on, add to the room, Ray. <laughs> so I go back to the when I was at the fundraiser. And, you know, the former mayor, Kasim, was there. And Kasim said something in the room that I kind of was like, and it wasn't nothing bad. It was just kind of like, you know, like, man, we got a, you know, we got a great black mayor. Now, mind you, I am black, and I love black women. I love them. I love black people. I love us. But at the same time, I looked at the white people in the room, and I thought to myself, well, how the fuck do they feel? You know, I was just thinking like, yo, man, we... And like I said, I think Barack Obama is the greatest ever, but he never acknowledged that he was a black man. He never right. acted like a black man. He never he didn't run as a black man. He ran mm -hmm. it as a as he a ran president. as a great mm -hmm. man. And that's why he won. So you know I'm at the table, so I'm like, hey, look, y'all, you know, I just want to say, I know we keep talking about Atlanta being a black city, but you know, it's a lot of other people that's not black here. So I think that we should find another reason to push people to go out and vote. Mm 
Because you know what they were saying? They were speaking about this. They was like, we got to get people to register to vote because they got to understand. If we don't let, if Stacey don't win or we, or we don't let the next person win, then they are fucked up. And I remember <laughs> thinking, why we got to scare them? <laughs> I remember saying that. So I'm like, yo, I'm just saying it, y'all. So I said two things. I said, man, two things. First thing is, and I think that we should do more outreach and mentorship whether it's voting season or not. So that way, when we do tell people to vote, they'll feel like we care. They already know you. And then people kind of looked at me like, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, and oh, and by the way, you know, I know we're a black city because we always say that, but, you know, Keisha only won by like 700 votes, you know, like, so for us to be such a black city, you would think that she won by way more, but she didn't win by that. So I, I you know, is it, I just think that we should change the rhetoric from just being a black city to being a progressive city. And I remember they was like, <laughs> and I never forget I looked at some people in the room and they shook their head and I remember I was like I ain't never getting invited to this room again never I again <laughs> <laughs> I think I fucked up that was the last meeting that I was at you, you was in Wakanda <laughs> talking about yeah let's let, let the guy speak yo, let the yo, world guy speak yo, yo. But, but, but I remember thinking to myself cause I'm like Black people will still be slaves if it was not for other white people standing up for us. Oh man, what a, what's going? On? That's oh, why I'm not Lord. saying nothing tonight because I know this. Like, you just been quiet. No, no, but, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to say. I'm not, right. and I'm not, and I don't want to go. It's a slippery slope going down that slavery I know, road. I know. But I'm just being honest. Yeah, I don't think it was a black person that came in there and said, "Hey man, I'm tired of this shit, man." <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Getting whipped this shit, man. I'm ready to go. And they like, right. you know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Freedom. It was a white person at the table that said, yep. "Hey y'all, this is not right." <laughs> y'all think we got to do it like that? Right. I take hell for these kind they, of they opinions. property, not necessarily. No, but they, they, they property. But my point is, is that they, they, that there there has to always be at every table other perspectives. Right. Yep. That's, That's all. A great so what I'm right. saying is, all I was saying to that room was, "Hey man, if y'all think we're gonna win the the governor shit, I'm like, yo, Keisha got to run again in four years." And we ain't going to be able to talk that. Keep Atlanta black. Well, you know what? I've, we've had a black mayor my entire life. Yeah, but so. hold up. But hear me out, though. Hey, guess what? Shit changes. Yeah, it's about to. But my, No, I don't want to say it's about to. No, it's about but, to. But let me tell you what's up. It can change when we fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah. And what you got to understand when you're at the wheel, that don't mean just driving. That means understanding where we're going. Right. That means, driving, un right. that means mm -hmm. understanding that there are other people that need to be feel like they are heard because that's what the Me Too movement is about. Yeah. It's about a a, 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 a a group of people who feel like no one cares. And guess what? It could have changed if somebody was at the table like, hey, y'all, I mean, I know, hey, look, Weinstein, I know you're like, fuck these girls, but man, you might need to stop <laughs> this, man. I, mean, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to get away with this longer. And it's and that one person might have been me, but they would have been like, get his ass about Never it. Coming <laughs> but back. guess what? Now he in jail. Now he fucked up. So I look at it like, man, we got to understand each other. We are so trained to see our own perspective that we don't understand each other. And Atlanta is, listen, man, if for us to be such a black city, Keisha would have won by a fucking 10,000, 20, 30,000 yeah. more votes. So guess what that means? Did you know anybody that can't, I know only one person that campaigned for Mary and the black community turned their back on him. <laughs> we know, we, we know, know who that, that is. We the whole black long. community called him a sucker. <laughs> it's sucker ass nigga. Like, I don't, listen, you know something? I wanted to vote for Kwanzaa. You know, I wanted to vote for Kwanzaa. Because Kwanzaa was the only fucking politician I ever met in my life that came to sit with me and ask me, what can I do to help you? Man, this nation's motherfucker going to be the next mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm, I just knew it. And then also I got a phone call saying, hey, yo, hey, hey, no more Kwanzaa. This is where we put the money behind. Write your check. I'll see you next week. No more Kwanzaa? What the fuck? Like, keep in mind, Kwanzaa had been... Can't we all Kwanzaa for 10 years? But my point is, my point is, is guess what? The somebody elite decided he wasn't one of them. I'm Kwanzaa. They decided I'm not one of them. And to be honest with you, that's the only thing I like about Trump. Because they he is not one of them, but he's still one. And it's nothing better than being told by the the the, the leaders of the room, you ain't shit and we'll never support you. And then coming back with your fucking ring saying, who wanna kiss it first? Right. Ain't nothing better than that. Who want to kiss my motherfucking ring for? And guess <laughs> what? And guess what? He did that. You know what? But he, he, I don't like a lot of shit he's done. But God damn it, that's some shit right there. That's some shit. That's a good note. On it. Right. Good note. That's a good note to end the night out. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tonight definitely has been a different show, but I'm sure we'll have a lot of comments on it. We're actually going to... 
Head over to Facebook, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Now Music, don't, love, Don't life. come on my motherfucking Instagram or Insta- <laughs> Facebook talking no shit, all right? I'm just saying that. Don't talk no shit. I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say. Leave me the fuck alone. Ray Daniels. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. Don't come fucking with me talking about you don't like what I said because that's what's wrong with the goddamn world. I could be able to say my opinion. I did not say Trolls. one derogatory term. I did not disrespect. I, I spoke for women, men, white, and black. Did I not? <laughs> yeah. I spoke for what, so what the fuck can you ask for from a human? Right. But it's going to be some nigga out there that's like, you motherfucking sellout ass right. bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the kids' games. Music of life.